Hey friends, welcome back to another vlog. Today, more festivities are happening in Falmouth. The tall ships are in town, so we're gonna take a look at the festivities, show you guys what's up, take a look at the tall ships, and yeah, just have a good time. Oh, you're dripping a bit there. Take a bite. Wow, uh, yeah, mate. What do you think? Out of ten. Nine. Nine out of ten. Wow. Kinder Buena Churro. Churro filled with Kinder Buena filling. Four pounds. Not too bad for a sweet snack out here at the tall ship celebration. Can we give it a try. That is sensational. Warm hot churro with that, with that uh, hot Kinder Bueno filling. Absolutely excellent. Got to be a 10 for that. That's brilliant. <laughs> We've got a reggae band about to come on and the tall ship over here has just chucked the lights on. And wow, it's quite a uh, spectacle. Fantastic lighting package on this bad boy. Yeah, once it gets dark, this thing is going to look absolutely phenomenal. Also, they got a ton of benches out here so everyone can take a seat, grab some food from the food vendors. They've even got these um, these barrels everywhere so you can like grab a drink from the bar, come stand by a barrel. And yeah, they've got even got the, the Spritz double decker over there. Shandon. Yes, the Shandon Garden Spritz uh, double decker. So grab yourself a cocktail and you can go up and yeah, get a great view of the show over here. So we're now up here above Falmouth uh, docks. Yeah, we got some huge ships in here. But yeah, we've got this gorgeous sunset over the bay here. You can see the tall ship just there. That's where we just were. See all the little boats out here. But yeah, absolutely stunning. So we've only got two tall ships in at the moment. I think there's meant to be a, a load more coming in over the next day or so. And yeah, there's going to be a big parade of all the beautiful ships down here. But yeah, we've got a Spanish ship in and a Mexican ship. Portuguese. Portuguese. Just absolutely, this Mexican one is proper patriotic. We've got the biggest flag going. The lighting is in theme with the flag. And yeah, just absolutely beautiful views here over Falmouth tonight. Gorgeous. So it's now Wednesday of the Tall Ships Festival event and we're up here at the Mall or the Dell, I can't remember. And we've got some local vendors, some salts, uh, some fair trade. Yeah, and they actually have a little vintage stall here, which I'm gonna look at. Oh, that, there's the army wall we saw the other day. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna check out the clothes here. Here we've got some like old records, travel agent. Yeah, there's the army like climbing wall. Yeah, nice to see some more um, stuff going on up here. <laughs>
guys, it's Wednesday night. We're just out here in uh, Fives. Popped out, couldn't be bothered to cook this evening. Uh, but yeah, down here getting pizza and a pint for, how much is it? 13 pounds. Pretty good deal. Just been given our drinks and look at this. I think even, it's not Beaver Town, but I'm very impressed with this plastic Beaver Town pint glass cup. Plastic Beaver Town pint cup. Look at that. This may have to do. You are coming home with me. That is absolutely stunning. M22. I don't know, this is the... Uh, no <laughs> this is the Laughing Pirate, which is the Fives House Lager. So I'm going to give it a go. Laughing Pirate. And it's very cool. Let me show you that. Beaver Town. Thank you for that. Not bad. House Lager. Not bad. Okay, so, uh, so food's arrived. Beth, what food have you got here? Um, the sneaky prawn, which is... The what? Sneaky prawn. Sneaky prawn. It's got prawns on it. It did, was meant to have chorizo on it, but they let me swap it out for a vegan alter, uh, veggie alternative, which I changed for spicy sausage. Lemon, rocket. You had this one before? No, but you have. Oh yeah, I had this before, really good. And I went for, this is called the snake bite. Is that right? Yeah. And it's got uh, red onion, peppers, vegan, what is it, vegan pork. Sausage. Vegan sausage. Yeah, so I think they're gonna do a lot of halvesies. But yeah, uh, I think I've tried this before, like a bite, but I haven't had it like fresh, so we're gonna give it a go. What do you think? The sausage is quite prominent in it, but no, it's nice. You get a nice bit of sweet kick from the barbecue base, followed by a nice spicy hit from the chipotle mayo. The meat, the vegan sausage, really good. Peppers, yeah, and the crust as well. That nice, like wood five crust, absolutely sensational. So yeah, do the full pizza, and then we'll give us, uh, we'll give you marks out of ten at the end. Cheers. All right, so we both just finished our pizzas now. Uh, so Beth, what are your final thoughts of the, what's your school? Sneaky prawn. Sneaky prawn, final thoughts. It was really nice, but I think I, could, I might have ruined it by putting spicy sausage on it instead of chips. It made it so it was, meant, it was meant to be uh, chorizo on it, but because you don't, because you're vegetarian, you swapped out the vegan spicy sausage, right? I really liked it because it was spicy but you still got that sort of refreshing seafood vibe from the uh, sauce and the prawns on it and the uh, like rocket as well it's like refreshing but then I got that spicy kick from the sausage which was really nice but yeah Beth would have liked, would have liked it without because it's not so good with spicy stuff but what are your final ratings out of 10 for the sloppy prawn? Sneaky prawn. Sneaky prawn. Um, 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. So yeah, my pizza was the snake bite and I really enjoyed it. The barbecue base gave you that sweet vibe but you also followed up again with the spiciness from the peppers and the chilies and the sausage the vegan sausage is amazing. It's one of those vegan products where it's like, you couldn't even tell, like, I'm a meat eater, but, you know, I really didn't mind it. It was delicious, and I fully enjoyed the pizza. And yeah, it's gotta be a strong nine, you know? It didn't have that magical, indescribable, indescribable quality to make it a 10. It was just missing that for me. But yeah, tonight the vibes are popping. We're in a really lovely environment. The weather's been beautiful today, and yeah, Pizza and a pint for how much was that? 13 pound? 13 pound on a Wednesday here at five in Dalma for, for a pizza and a pint. It's great value, delicious food. So yeah, it's a nine from me. Highly recommend coming down because they only do it on Wednesdays, pizza and pint. 
of 13 pounds. I think next we're going to be seeing a some sort of laser light show they're doing this evening. That's a 10.30, so I've got a bit of, bit of time to kill. Might go down and see the live band. Get dessert vibe. Might even get a dessert treat. vibe. Sweet treat. It's also um, Guilty Pleasures Night here. They got a guilty buzzers night, so yeah, may catch a bit of that. They've got a live band inside. Yeah, the tool ships uh, events are just off the off the scale. Everywhere you go in Falmouth, there's just an event, something going on. It's a really good atmosphere. Everyone's having a great time, and yeah, some really nice food and drink to accompany it. What can I say? Great vibes all around. So to see out our Wednesday night tour ships, they're actually doing this every night of the event. So um, yeah, we could come back tomorrow and see this, but we're seeing it tonight, see what it's all about. So yeah, a laser light show. Sort of see it on the camera there. Oh, yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm not sure if they're playing music over there to go with the lasers, but it, it would be cool to have a bit of music to go with this, but we are positioned in a different position now. We were over there before, that's where the tool ships and events square is. But yeah, it's pretty cool seeing the large scope of this going across the bay. But yeah, a little laser light show to see off the night. <laughs> that's pretty sick. Whoa. Wow. So guys, that unfortunately is going to cut this vlog short because we saw the laser light show and the next couple of days some terrible weather came in, cancelled the main tool ships parade, which was a total shame because this is the first time this event has been on in uh, nine years. So it was lovely to see it back. The parts we did get to see were the live music and the boats in the background were beautiful and then on the Wednesday me and Beth going for that meal was really nice the atmosphere and vibes were like spot on and then yeah they had like three days of that live music different acts on all the time so yeah it was a really great event just shame the main tool ships part of it did get cut short but overall we had a great time and next week we are off to Amsterdam so stay tuned for that vlog because it's going to be it epic adventure first vlog abroad uh with me and beth so yeah look forward to that but yeah drop a comment let us know what you thought leave a like subscribe if you're new and we'll catch you in the next one peace